In today's Abandoned video, we showcase the abandoned flagship shopping centre located in Bangor, Northern Ireland. The 150,000 square foot spanning complex that was open for almost three decades once boasted over 30 tenants. Following numerous store closures, the entire site shut its doors for good in 2019. Join us as we document what the structure looks like today. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss a video. Not long ago, we had the honour of helping out an abandoned watcher Glyn after he noticed that one of our photographs from an abandoned building's rooftop featured his house in it. If you are ever interested in purchasing some of our photographs, we share a print bundle from every location we upload. Enjoyment of our shots, personal connection to a building or whatever reason might interest you to see for yourselves. You can see our range of photos on offer and also check out Glynn's tale on the blog section of our website linked below. Early on a rainy morning that signified the sad state Bangor's flagship centre lies in currently, we approached the colossal property a couple days into our recent island trip. From the high street facing side of the premises, you might not realise the abandoned factor of the mall, with many shop advertisements still up, teaching us what once functioned inside. The main entrance doors are locked shut, but you can still glimpse through to see the unsettling conditions. However, around the back things begin to come into place a little bit more. Most fire escapes and alternate doors are boarded up and the former two-storey car park is empty and silent. Once upon a time, the parking capacity would be full with members of the public who would enjoy wandering through the many shops in Flagship to clear out their wallets. Without too much difficulty, we managed to enter the building at its highest point. Then we excitedly made our way down to ground level, where our first disused shopping centre experience would begin. Wow. This is crazy. It's very trashed, but the retro colour scheme and the huge skylight and these escalators. We finally found an abandoned shopping centre that is pretty good. This central bit is definitely the main attraction though. I can imagine this muffin shop was very busy. In standstill, the apocalyptic scene before us was quite extraordinary. The escalators would have been out of motion for some time and all the seating for the small cafe in this central area had been removed. Inside this little coffee shop in the central part, you can see there's a kitchen back here compact space. Still got some sort of kitchen equipment here.
Throughout this video, you will see some footage taken from a well-covered video that walks through the flagship centre in 2018, a year before it closed. Although it was long since its prime state, it's fascinating to see the changes that have occurred in only 24 months. We will link the original video down below if you want to watch it. Despite being a specially huge building for a shopping centre, Flagship was never gigantic. It fixates around two main halls, both with large skylights and escalators, with intersecting corridors over two floors which held the many tenants. Peacocks. It's a big department store. Besides the mirrored pillars. There isn't anything left, except for this desk. It's in the back of Peacocks. I assume this would have just been storage of items. Yeah, it makes sense. They've been stripped, but these are all shelves. And then staff lockers. Ah, oh, it's a bit of a squeeze. Just a staff room here, break room. Built on top of an old gas works in the 90s, the mall was a great addition to the town of Bangor at the time, hoping to formalise a public space and create lots of jobs for the locals. There were many independent shops inside, but others included Argos Iceland, Co-op Poundworld Peacocks and a food court, with a KFC, Burger King and a Subway. Although the shopping centre had a strong opening and first decade, visitor numbers decreased drastically ever since, making some of the major shops close. 2012 left the future of the mall in doubts, with a group of retailers leaving all at once. By 2016, only 8 of the maximum 30 tenants were occupied, GameStop, Peacocks and Ethel Austin amongst those to leave. In a desperate attempt to save the failing site, it was sold multiple times to different investors, but it proved too little too late, locking up to the public in February 2019. This shop's got two floors. There's the desk. Even some clothes rails still there. During our exploration, it was hard to work out which shops were what before they became vacant. This was because most of the worldwide retailers removed all their branding, not wanting to be associated with a failed property. Oh, there's a lot more decay up here. You have to wonder, um, because all the shops in this place didn't close at the same point. Some of them might have been closed for, for years before the entire shopping centre went vacant. And here with the roof tiles coming down and decaying, you wonder if this was one of those. I feel like some of them will be in a lot worse condition than others. All of these reduced tags shows that this place knew it was going to close long before it did. It's 
some tills here. See that the way the receipt comes out. It's hard to not be baiting here with all these open windows leading onto the main high street, but we chosen to do it early, so there's literally no one about. Here is one of the popular tenants that hadn't removed all of their signs and logos. This shop was previously Pound World. Hopefully they're not working, although they look very old. There's various store closure notices. That one dates back to 2017. This is such a unique place um, that we've never actually seen before. really trash down here. This is just leading to one of the exit doors. See the flagship post office in there. Looks relatively intact but the shutter's down so I'm not sure if we can get in. The only item remaining in this shop is an organ. After seeing all of the lower floors, we headed up one of the powered off escalators to see what sat upstairs. Such nice natural light coming into this bit from the skylight. Definitely would not have been the same at night. It was incredibly bizarre to see a place usually so dominated with people, lacking the very aspect that keeps it running. Like most malls, everything was designed to entice the public to purchase and visit again, so when that scheme doesn't function, there truly is nothing left. supermarket or convenience store here. The till's pretty cool. This door takes up the whole of this wall, so it probably is quite big. <sighs> yeah, this is quite something. This is a massive supermarket. And it's very decayed, probably the most decayed one yet. All the conveyor belts are here, but the tills have gone. You can see where the aisles were, but they're no more. Apart from over here, the frozen section. Twenty-five thousand square foot in size, this store was the largest on site and was formerly a cooperative. It's a deli counter. Then have hot chicken. Probably cheese and maybe bread. Another meat back here. And behind it just leads to the kitchens. With a drop down ceiling blocking another skylight, decay had progressed quickly since the supermarket shut. We found it interesting that it was likely that this and others had been closed for a while, even when the rest of flagship stayed open, sealed off from the public.
The final region of the shopping centre to check out was the food court, positioned directly above the entrance foyer. Quite a strange layout. It's probably because it's empty. There's no chairs or tables out anymore. You can see what looks to be a Burger King over there. The Burger King's actually really cool. As well as this popular fast food restaurant, a KFC subway and various independent cafes would have fed shoppers whilst they visited. It's like a really, not really old, but fairly old till. You can see there, it's got some of the uh, shortcuts for orders on there. You can imagine the kitchens would be a lot bigger back here. Here's what they do. Well, it looks a bit like the fries. You can see how horrible they still are, even after years of abandonment. That's how much grease is in there. It's weird being in here, especially never worked in a fast food chain. Just seeing how it would all work. The food court offered a lot of seating space with long windows that overlooked Bangor's main high street. Now the only people that can have this view are the occasional explorer who is successful in getting into the shuttered complex. I wonder what this shop would have been. All branding's been stripped, just the red that remains. So much natural light coming through here. The flagship centre colours on that main window looking out onto the high street. Looks like a another branded shop over here for the food court. It's not the biggest food court I've seen in a shopping centre there. I'm not sure if this was a main brand or a uh, kind of a little special place. Maybe a um, a local business instead. The disappointing prospect that the shopping centre lies vacant and starting to deteriorate due to natural causes and vandalism settled in with us as we concluded our period inside. It really was a step backwards for the town and the loss of jobs over the years that businesses closed down emphasises this. Currently there aren't any plans for the flagship centre. The site has manageable damage at the moment, but it could worsen in the future if nothing is done. Its prominent location in Bangor will hopefully mean that a development opportunity will surface soon. We hope you enjoyed joining us on our walkthrough of the structure. If you did, feel free to show your support by liking the video and subscribing to never miss a future upload. Here are some of our photographs taken inside the flagship centre. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page in the description where we post images of our explorers months before they are seen on YouTube. Thanks for watching. How are you liking the island videos so far? Remember you can visit our website for exclusive images that are available to purchase in bundles from every place we visit. See you next time.